The British Army's Dilemma, Sacrificing Industrial Autonomy for a New Protected Mobility Vehicle On October 31, 2024, military analyst Nicholas Drummond highlighted a tricky problem for the British Army at X. While Oshkosh's Joint Light Tactical Vehicle JLTV, is an attractive option, there are significant obstacles to its acquisition. Designed to meet the mobility and protection needs of U.S. forces, the JLTV offers a competitive cost of around $300,000 alongside advanced capabilities for challenging environments. Despite these advantages, the British Army is hesitant, as the American-made vehicle does not include local production or support, which conflicts with the UK's goal of industrial autonomy. Facing an urgent need to replace nearly 2,000 protected vehicles weighing under 10 tons, a national alternative is increasingly important, and the Ministry of Defense's PM Light program could provide a suitable solution to fill this gap. Developed by Oshkosh Defense, the JLTV is a rugged and versatile all-terrain vehicle, intended as a successor to the Humvee. The LATV, Light Combat Tactical All-Terrain Vehicle, variant meets the modern requirements of U.S. forces, offering advanced protection and all-terrain capabilities that can be adapted to a variety of missions, such as troop transport, heavy weapons support, or reconnaissance. Technically, the JLTV combines a 397 horsepower V, 8 diesel engine and independent TAK, 4i suspension, allowing it to overcome obstacles and reach speeds of 120 km per hour with a range of 480 km. With modular armor and a variety of armament options, including 7.62 or 12.7 mm machine guns, MK-19 grenade launchers, or BGM-71 TOW anti-tank missiles, the JLTV provides enhanced protection against improvised explosive devices IEDs, and can be tailored to a variety of operational needs. While the JLTV's performance and affordability are attractive, its acquisition poses a strategic challenge. The Ministry of Defense is prioritizing local production, with the aim of maintaining the UK's industrial autonomy, especially in the post-Brexit context. An agreement was signed with Oshkosh to test UK subsystems on the JLTV, an initial step towards local integration. However, the project remains limited, with no guarantee of large-scale domestic production, prompting UK decision-makers to consider other solutions. Among the alternatives being evaluated, the PM Light program addresses the need for a locally designed and manufactured sub-10 ton armored vehicle. While the JLTV remains an effective and cost-effective option, the British Army is keen to explore local solutions to align with its autonomy objectives. The PM Light program, along with international options such as the locally assembled Dragon, could address the urgent need for modernization, depending on the priorities reset by the next Strategic Defense Review Plan for 2025.